Greetings, and welcome to Cooking with a Princess. Well, I don't think I have to tell you how excited I am that fall is here, but just in case you were wondering, I'm excited that fall is here. <laughs> oh, today I uh, went to the Dollar General, and I was driving on my way to the store, and I just got so excited about it that I knew I was going to lose control of my bowels and I couldn't make it to the Dollar General bathroom on time. So I had to pull off to the side of the road and defecate in the bushes. Because you know what? That's what happens to some of us this time of year when we go to the Dollar General. And let me show you why. I mean, just look at these decorations. Look at these beautiful fall decorations. I mean, doesn't this look like something you'd see in like Buckingham Palace or someplace? They're gorgeous. My goodness. Anyway, and I got my aut autumn headpiece here from Dollar General for just $1.99. Isn't it beautiful? I just feel like a magical autumn fairy prancing through the forest. It is so pretty. So, I am ready to share with you a very special recipe that I like to make during this, this time of year because fall is just the time when I just burst into life, you know? It's just such a magical time for me. And I've come up with a recipe that I call pumpkin pie burritos. And uh, it's a beautiful blend of, it's kind of a fusion dish, you know? It's a blend of two cultures, uh, the Latinx culture with the burrito part, of course, and then the basic bitch culture which is uh, the culture that I come from, and, and that's the culture that loves all things pumpkin. So it's a, a wonderful fusion dish you can make for your friends and your family and your relatives. So I'd like to get started and show you how I make this. And this is probably my most complicated recipe to date, so I hope that it's not too much for you, but you can always play the video back and go over it step by step, and I'll try to break it down as simply as possible. But all good burritos start with a handmade tortilla. So you have this, see, your handmade, let me move this down a little bit so you can really see. I just want you to see my headpiece first, but now um, you start with a, uh, let me see, tortilla. And that is going to be the first step. Now, the star of this recipe, of course, is the pumpkin, right? So what I do is I take a pumpkin pie filling available from Dollar General, and you just want to really spread this out on your tortilla. Because this is kind of a both a sweet and a savory dish combined. So spread out the pumpkin pie filling on your tortilla. And just, just you wanna use a generous amount because this is really a, really a pumpkin-y type of recipe. Mm. Oh, I can smell the pumpkin already. I haven't even eaten it and I'm, my mouth is watering like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Uh, one of the things about pumpkin is it does, t uh, it contains a naturally occurring mineral that helps to firm up your bosoms. So I just wanted you to know that because people have remarked lately on how firm my bosoms look and, you know, part of it is the pumpkin. Okay, so in addition to pumpkin, we are going to add some cranberries. So you just want to add some cranberries to it, like that. Um, also, cranberries are very odd in me. Uh, going to add some raisins. There's a lot that goes into this recipe, but you'll, you'll be amazed at how it tastes. I keep my raisins double bagged to preserve their freshness. Raisins are something else that really have helped me with my bowels. You know, I go up to 11 times a day, sometimes more when I'm going to the Dollar General, because, you know. Okay, so you've added your pumpkin, 
your cranberries, your raisins. So what's next? Okay, you, you want to add a quarter of a cup of uncooked rice. You're not going to cook it because this will add a little bit of crunch to your pumpkin pie burrito. And that just makes it kind of a more interesting dish. Uncooked rice will ha has more nutritional value than cooked rice. And the Dollar General rice is really good. Now, sometimes there'll be some maggots in it, but those are organic maggots and they're full of protein. So it's the Dollar General difference. Okay, now you want to fold your burrito. Okay, oh, there's a hair in this thing. Oh, okay. Fold your burrito. All right, and then flip it over and just kind of flatten it. Feel good, just flatten it. All right, so it looks like that. Okay, now you want to make the sauce. Oh, this damn camera keeps slipping. All right, so the enchilada sauce, because this is an enchilada style burrito, you're going to add some uh, pumpkin spice coffee mate. Uh, the Dollar General creamer is really good too. It's a little bit, the Dollar General creamer is flammable, so just take a small sip first, you know, because you don't want your intestines to burst into flames. But other than that, it's really good creamer. All right. And you want to add to your sauce a little bit of a couple of spoonfuls of mayo. All right. And to, to give it some uh, orange uh, coloring, you're going to add carrot juice. Uh, these things are so hard to open. There we go. Oh, wait, you got it. Yeah. So you're going to add a little bit of carrot juice. You're not even going to believe how this looks once it's mixed up. All right, so you mix up your mayo, pumpkin spice creamer, and carrot juice to give it kind of a fall-like orangish color. Mix it till it's nice and smooth, like that. Can you see that? Well, you'll see it once I pour it on the burrito. All right. Now, sure you can see this okay so that's the finished oh and on top you add a little bit more of the raisins let me get this damn thing out of the way if you want to add raisins to kind of make it look pretty on top even though you've added raisins in the box because presentation is one of the most important parts of cooking because if it doesn't look good then your guests aren't going to want to eat it now this right here is the final product as you can see oh wow <laughs> well there's only one thing left to do and that is to taste this delicious pumpkin pie burrito Bon appetit. You know what, guys? Mmm, that's crunchy. Yep. Yeah. Something tastes spoiled, but it's still really good. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Cooking with a Princess. I hope you got something meaningful out of this video. I hope you uh, like and subscribe and share this with all of your friends because the holidays are such a special time to share beautiful recipes with one another. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You've been Cooking with a Princess. See you soon. Okay, bye-bye, guys. <laughs>